Yep. So what are you up to today? Well, uh, am I required to answer your questions? Freaking.com. So on the side away from the media, I guess the enforcement wing is doing their gig. Protective wing, maybe I should say. I'm gonna guess most of these folks are Secret Service. How are you? Good morning, sir. How are you? Good. I'm recording. Good deal. How are you doing? Dave Ridley. With what is the seller of HSI? How are you? With, with who? HSI, Homeland Security. Oh, okay. You're a private security contractor? Homeland Security. Oh, okay. DHS. Yes, sir. I call it DHS. Do you call it something else? HSI. It's just a branch in between inside a hey. DHS. Okay. What used to be called ICE. All right. Yeah. So what are you up to today? Well, uh, am I required to answer your questions? Well, you said you're taping me, so <laughs> as long as you record. That's one mind, answer. I don't, I don't mind you recording me. Well, but, thank uh, you. That's just, good to start. But uh, we're doing security here and uh, for the event, so and I see you posting here, so just wondering. There's a media entrance over there if you want to use that one. For the moment, I'm comfortable here. All right. And I appreciate you not bossing me around. Good deal. No, I'm not. doesn't always work that way. No, I'm just checking. I'm in. Just All right. Introduce myself as well. Okay. You have a nice day. Thanks. You Enjoy. too. The other thing that makes my thinking about Trump more complicated, in a negative way for him, is my mindfulness of America's fragile similarity to former Yugoslavia pre-breakup and the similarities between Trump and Milosevic, the guy who essentially turned Yugoslavia into a death trap. You do have to wonder if you know these polite guys like these could be replaced with crazed Chetnik type government officials. And despite what I said earlier about, about things possibly hardly could get worse, they of course could. It's the in inflaming of ethnic tensions and anti-Muslim rhetoric that's so dangerous and so similar to what happened in former Yugoslavia. You have these years of political correctness, decades of it sort of enforced, and then as soon as there's a little bit of freedom, someone comes along that abuses it with his rhetoric, as Milosevic did and as Trump does too. major British journalist who reported in a documentary a while back that he had never actually been stopped from entering a presidential campaign event in uh, the United States and Trump was the first time that had ever happened to them to him so he was stuck with being on the periphery as I am in many cases seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling. For details visit freekeen.com